everyone, I'm Ariel from Pingpong Digital. Um, today, I'm delighted to be invited by the Brazilian department to give this talk um, to the Brazilian attendee at CIFFA, um, so the China Import Fair of Food and um, Agro Products. So today's I'll be um, giving you a 30 minutes talk, um, mainly covering about um, Chinese landscape in digital marketing um, and what kind of channels you could utilize to help you sell your products um, through e-commerce channels to China. So before I start, let me give a bit of introduction about myself. Um, so I'm Ariel, I'm Business Development Manager at Pingpong Digital. So Pingpong Digital is an award-winning agency based in London, Birmingham, Shanghai, and New York. Um, and these are the five main services we provide for our clients. Covering from social media, to pay media campaigns, helping you build up Chinese website, Chinese mini program, um, to run e-commerce platform and digital PR. Um, we really provide all different kind of digital marketing solutions to brands who want to market into China. What makes us special as an agency is that we are also the trusted partner and the official um, agency to work with all the major Chinese platform in China, including WeChat, Weibo, Douyin, Total, and Baidu. So being the official partner means um, we've got our agreement signed with the platform um, and we have direct contact with the platform. So if you have any issue with any kind of your campaigns or your account, um, we can help you negotiate this with the platform directly. Um, just a glimpse of the brands we work with. Um, we really work with brands from all different kinds of industry, covering from food and beverage, FMCG, um, skincare, beauty, fashion, tourism, etc. So um, in today's talk, I'll be covering three different kind of topic. First one is I would like to give you a bit of a um, introduction on the China market landscape. Um, and I'll be focusing on two um, solutions to help you sell your brands to China. So I'll help you sell your products to China. First one is short videos and second one is live streaming. So that started with um, a bit of intro into the landscape um, in Chinese markets. Um, obviously after um, 2020, um, we've seen a huge kind of increase of people communicating on social media online and shopping online. Based on this survey, 67, sorry, 66% of people we survey say that they spend more time shopping online during the COVID-19 crisis. Um, and since like the crisis is not as serious in China anymore, a lot of people still carry on shopping online because they have already built up the habits of shopping online and they have seen the benefits of shopping online. The annual online sales in e-commerce in 2020 is 672 billion, um, which grocery is the fattest growth um, category online. Um, and 35 to 50 years old um, Chinese consumer are the dominant consumer for online shopping. Since China is a mobile centric community, most people will shop online um, using their mobile devices. Short video platforms will be the hottest area with a potential of 93% of growth in 2021. Um, short video like Bilibili, Douyin, Kuai Shou, they're all very popular in China at the moment. And there are more and more companies and brands will use live streaming to engage with their consumer and audiences. Um, so live streaming is a also very key channels for brands who want to sell to China through online channel. So let's have a look at the China landscape first. Obviously, we all know that um, all the Western channel doesn't work in China. So we don't have Shopify, we don't have Google, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Um, but we have the equivalent in China. We have Weibo, WeChat, we have Timo, we have Baidu, etc. So um, a key thing for um, overseas brands to sell into China is to, first of all, localize the brand and localize your sales channel. 
that would be the first step to get into the China. Um, you need to, you know, find the local channel for you to sell your products, whether you want to do a um, cross border or you want to sell in country, whether you want to sell from your website or sell um, through a local channels or a, a big e-commerce store like Timo and JD. That would be the first step for, for you to figure out. After you decide the sales channels, then we can think about how we can market the brand into China using Chinese social media platform. Here are some of the um, amazing stats that I would like to share with you. You can see some very crazy number here. For example, um, there are over 830 million people in China have access to internet. Um, over 500 million people have shopped online in the past three months. Over 500 million people shop online via mobile devices. Um, and 98.3% of people use their mobile devices to connect to internet. So you can see mobile is a very important device in China. If you want to sell into China, mobile comes first. You need to think about how you utilize advertising on mobile and uh, e-commerce channels on mobile app um, first when you want to sell into China. So if we string down the whole Chinese population into just only 10 people, um, what does it look like? So first of all, um, all of them will have phone to access internet. Seven of them will watch short videos on app. Eight of them will shop online, which is a very high percentage. And four people will watch live streaming. Nine of them use WeChat, five of them use Weibo, which are the two most popular social media platform in China. Um, 75 make payment online, 7.3 um, make payment via mobile devices, and three are students. Um, majority of people will be between 20 to 40 years old. Um, so in a nutshell, that's I think it breaks down the, the Chinese consumer uh, community quite easily for, for us to understand. So obviously it's mobile first and it's internet first. So compared to offline store, more and more brands enter into the market through online e-commerce channel. Um, I really like how this sentence summarized the, the Chinese landscape. Is it's like it's almost as if Chinese internet is a lagoon. In that lagoon, there were swamp monsters apps that bear some resemblance to the creature in the ocean, but mutated in some ways. So, what are the giants in China? Obviously, um, these are the four giants, right? So, Baidu, Alibaba Group, who own Timo, um, and Taobao, and Weibo. Tencent who own WeChat and Baidan's who own TikTok. So if you want to do business in China, you can't avoid them. You will have to have either interact with all this platform and in one or the other way. So what are the brands, um, what the platform they have in China? That's from, let's say from e-commerce, we have Taobao and Timo, which are the biggest e-commerce platform in China. We also have JD, Pinduoduo, VIP.com as well. Mobile payment, we have Alipay and WeChat Pay. Chinese consumer, they don't really use cash or credit card. They use um, mobile payment. So usually you see a lot of people just scan the QR code and make the payment. That means they use Alipay or WeChat Pay to make the payment. So if you want to sell into China, these two payments will be a, a critical um, solution for you to integrate with your sales channels. Social media wise, we've got WeChat, Weibo, Total, Douyin, Xiaohongshu, etc. Video platform, we have IGE, Yoku, Tencent, Bilibili. Search um, engine, we have Baidu, Shema, Sogo, 360, etc. So these are the most popular um, platform across different kind of sector in China. You probably have seen some of the logo here before <laughs> for like WeChat, Douyin, um, Weibo, they're all very popular platforms in China. So um, you could have a look at this platform when you're entering to the Chinese market. So now I want to talk about um, how we could use um, short videos and Bilibili, which is another short video platform to help brands sell better into China. So um, in a survey shows that 78% of the advertisers in China would invest in short video ads in 2021. Before brands were probably preferred to run some static image ad, but now brands are you know, moving from static image to short video. 
And why is that? It's because the short video form really embodying the fast pace of modern lifestyle for, for modern people, right? For example, we all like to, you know, grab our phone and just scroll down endless to see some content and some interesting video. Um, and short video fits this perfectly. So that's why it's so popular in China at the moment. And also video platforms like TikTok um, also have like e-commerce solution embedded into the video function. So for example, I see um, a person eating um, some crisps, I could tap and buy the same pack of crisps online. So it's all very similar um, and it has its a uh, very thorough ecosystem in it. So short videos is so popular in China at the moment. And how a food and beverage brand could use Dove in this platform to help you build up their brand awareness and reach out to more consumer. Um, we can work with influencer in the market to create this very kind of interesting um, video about um, your products. Um, let's take a look. So yeah, this kind of um, food content on Douyin, they're very, very popular. Obviously, some of them were taken outside in the restaurant, but some of them are homemade food using different kind of ingredients. So you could work with this kind of influencer in the creative way to create very tasty recipe um, to show, you know, the best way to utilize your products in China um, with the Chinese consumer. So that would be the way to going forward. Another platform I'd like to introduce is called Billy Billy. Um, so Billy Billy is the most popular user generated video platform in China at the moment um, among young Chinese consumer. So if you want to tap into the young Chinese consumer demographic, Billy Billy will be a platform not to be missed by you. So at the moment, Billy Billy has over 172 million monthly active user on the platform. What Bilibili is famous for is the user-generated content. So there are a lot of what we call influencer or KOL on Bilibili who produce some very interesting and high quality video um, on this platform to educate the audience um, or share their perspective on different kind of thing. We call this kind of influencer on Bilibili called Abju. Um, Bilibili is famous for its high stickiness of its user to a very specific Abju. Um, and also Abju, this kind of KOL can interact with their fans and followers on this platform as well. So for brands who want to utilize Bilibili as the advertising platform, you could work with different kind of um, KOL on this platform, again, to create some very fun and engaging videos by using your products. So just to show you a bit of example here, um, for example, if you sell pork rib, um, you can work with this KOL who use your products, the pork rib, um, to create some very tasty Chinese dish. But um, the style on Billy Billy, it's all very fun and engaging, but at the same time, it's very high quality as well. So it just depends on what kind of product you sell. Um, we can select different kind of KOL on this platform uh, to do different kind of video content. Other type of content on Billy Billy we can utilize are more like um, education focused content, for example, wine tasting. How do you do wine tasting? What's the different type of wine you can get? Um, how do you read the wine label? Um, the origin of wine? Well, why does it matter? So we do also have a lot of this type of um, contents um, on Billy Billy as well, educating people on a very specific topic um, and a very specific area. Okay. 
Great. So yeah, um, all these videos are very long, so I'm not going to play all of them, but you can have a look at them on Bilibili or YouTube. Um, but this is how brands, how FMCG brands could utilize Bilibili as a platform and doing as a platform to help your brand market into China. Second solution I would like to talk about is live streaming. So live streaming is huge in China. Um, in 2021, it generates more than 80 billion RMB um, in China. Um, and by estimation, by 2023, you will break 100 billion barrier for live streaming. Live streaming is even more popular during the COVID-19 situation because um, you know people can't go off, they can't shop at offline. So they utilize live streaming, brands utilize live streaming to engage with its audience and its consumer. Live streaming is especially popular for FMCG brands and B2C focus uh, business. For example, beauty products, skincare, snacks, food, they're all very popular among live streaming platform. So at the moment in China, a lot of live streamer in China sell food. Um, for example, they have like snack festival that sell different kind of snack. Um, they can even sell grocery on live streaming as well. Um, the good thing about live streaming is um, when we're watching this live streaming, if I want to buy this product, it's just one click away. Um, one click and I can, you know, order this food online when I'm watching this live streaming. And probably in the next two, three days, I'll be able to receive the products. So it's all very convenient. So it's a great way to obviously promote your brand and increase sales in the Chinese market. Um, so why there's um, also very important things that you need to consider when you're doing live streaming is what do you want to achieve through live streaming? Do you want to achieve brand awareness or do you want to increase sales or do you want to you know, reach out to more audiences? Um, obviously it depends on what you want to achieve, how you do a live streaming, the frequency of doing live streaming can be adjusted. Live streaming is a great way to generate quick sales. But if you want to have a sustainable sales, um, it's very important that you, you, you know, utilize this platform well, you can't overuse it. So you don't rely too much on live streaming. You need to have a sustainable um, and strategy um, marketing plan to help you as a brand to market into China. But obviously live streaming is a great tool to utilize. So how do we enter into the Chinese market? What are the steps, right? Um, to summarize um, the steps into very simple six steps. First one, obviously you need to conduct a thorough market research. You need to know about the brands, the consumer and your competitors, the price point, um, which channel is most suitable for you to sell, whether you're going online or offline, whether you are doing cross-border trading or not um, all these things will need to be considered first before we actually you know sell our start doing marketing campaign and start selling the products into china the second stage after you pick you know your sales channels your trade partner um, that's when we can start talking about your marketing campaigns what channel is most suitable for you as a brand um, what platform is most suitable for you and um, that's when we pick and start to plan a strategic marketing campaign for you in the market next step is we can help you register and verify your business accounts business social media accounts um, on all different kind of chinese channel and start creating sustainable content and creative strategy for your brand so we are building up a brand's um, awareness and start telling the story um, your brand story to the Chinese audience. While doing this kind of organic content, we also do targeted paid media campaign to help drive sales to your store, whether you, you, know, you have your own website or whether you're on Timo or Taobao. We help you um, direct the traffic to your website um, and help you increase sales in the Chinese market. Finally, is the most important part is you need to constantly engage and managing your followers and your community and your clients. Customer service is very important in China. So you need to make sure you have a good customer service when you are doing business in China. So that's an easy kind of like six step plans you need to consider when you want to go into the Chinese market. 
So yeah, that's everything for the talk today. It's a very short talk, but hopefully the content is useful for you. Um, if you want to get in touch, please feel free to email me um, on my email, ariel at pingpongdigital.com, or you can simply scan the QR code and add me on WeChat. Thank you. Have a lovely day.